Good morning, everyone. I'm Sarah Hashim Hadi. I'm working in Nigerian Tulip International College. Uh, I'm a computer teacher. So today we are going to solve some of past questions of YEC 2020. So let's get started. Let's come to question one. It says the use of visual display unit was a major breakthrough in the. So let's come to see some information about generations of computers. We have in the first generation of computers, they depend on vacuum tubes. And in the second generation of computers, they depended on transistors. And in the third generation of computers, as we see in here, they added the visual display. So <clears throat> I can say the answer is C, as it is the third generation of computers. Let's come to question two. It says in hexadecimal system, D is equivalent to which number in decimal? Let's go to the table that we have. As we see, zero is zero, one is one, two, uh, 10 is two, 11 is three, 100 is four, and so on until nine. In nine, it ends with the number. So the letters starts in here. So we have 10, 10 as it represents A. So we will say A is 10 and B is 11, C is 12 and D is 13. So we can choose the answer from here as 13. Let's come to question three. A teacher computed the average score of students in a given test, the result of the computation described. So we are looking in here for a result for an output. So we, as we know, we have A, Record is a data, so it's unprocessed. Data in C is a data, so it's unprocessed information. And then we have in D, file is a data too. So we have just B as information, and we know that the information describes the processed data. Let's come to question four. It says the sum of 110 base of 2 and 101 base of 2 is what? So let's solve this question. Firstly, I'm going to convert these two numbers, which is base of two, to decimal numbers. As I know, the base of two numbers is a binary number. So I will write 110, and I will apply the rule of converting binary to decimal. So 2 to the power of 0 for the first number, 2 to the power of 1 for the second number, 2 to the power of 2 for the third number. Then I'm going to find the result of these numbers. Two to the power of zero is one, two to the power of one is two, two to the power of two is four. Now I will see which number corresponds to the zero in the binary system number. This zero corresponds to the one, then I will cancel them, then I will add just the remaining numbers, which are four plus two is equal to six. This is our first number. Then let's find the second number, one, zero, one, so I will apply the same rule on it, 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2. Okay, 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 2 is 2, and 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So the 0 corresponds to the 2, so I will cancel them. Then I will add the remaining ones. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Now I will say 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. So I know that in binary system, 11 uh, represents D, okay? 10, 11 to the pace of 2, so I will choose the answer as D. Mm -hmm. Let's come to question 5. One advantage of the first generation computers is A, processing speed, B, portability, C, heating effect, D, burglar proof. Let's have some information about advantages of first generation. We have advantage. That was the only electronic during those old days. Those computers were very fast to calculate. And then vacuum tube technology made possible the advent of electronic digital computers. This was the advantage. Then we have the disadvantage. It is not really a reliable device and not portable. It is required to be air conditioned. So. We have processing speed, we have it in advantage. So this one can this one can be answered. 
And then we have portability. In this advantage, it says it's not portable, so this one cannot be an advantage. So we have heating effect. In this advantage, it says it requires to be air conditioned, so it was producing so much heat. So this one cannot be an answer too. Then we have burglar proof. It doesn't have a relation with the question. So this one cannot be an answer too. So we have the answer as processing speed A. Let's come to question six. It says magnetic ink character recognition is applied on what? So let's have some information about magnetic ink character recognition is a technology invented in 1950s that's used to verify the originality of checks and other paper documents, okay? So we have in here voice recognition device. This cannot be an answer. So we have mobile device, this cannot be an answer. And large data capturing machine, this cannot be answer. And the answer will be bank checks, okay? So the answer is D. Let's come to question seven. Internet banking entails applying computer networks in banking operations, applying computer to automate banking operations, generating tokens and one-time password for online payment using ATM for banking operations. So let's have some information about internet banking. We have internet banking allows a user to conduct financial transactions via the internet. Online banking offers customers almost every service traditionally available through a local branch, including deposits, transfers, and online bill payments. Okay, so the relatable answer will be A which is applying computer networks in banking operations. Let's come to question eight. Which of the following parts of the computer ensures the smooth operation of its hardware? Let's have some information about hardware consists of the central processing unit required to power the operating system. Computers have a power supply and the hard drive for storage. It needs random access memory or RAM to ensure smooth operation. So, as we see in here, we have we have main memory for storage. And we have control unit for making operations inside computers, making operations. Okay? Then we have auxiliary storage for storage, of course. Then we have arithmetic and logic unit, it's a part of CPU. Okay, so this cannot be the answer. So the answer will be control unit. Okay, let's go to question nine. Basic computer operations include the following, except let's have the basic computer operations, which are five. We have input, we have process, we have output, we have storage, and we have control unit. So in here we have the options, control unit, input, output, and insurance. So the option that is, doesn't exist in the information that I gave you, it will be insurance. Question 10. One disadvantage of electronic data processing is A, handling complex computation. A computer can handle a complex computational operations. So this one cannot be a disadvantage. Then we have B, medium for effective storage. So computer can store a big amount of data. So this one also cannot be a disadvantage. We have C, processing data at a phenomenal speed. This one also cannot be a disadvantage, then we have vulnerability to attack. Also, we have an information in th that proves the answer is vulnerability to attack. It says electronic form of data is susceptible to hacking attempts. So the computer system can be hacked, can be attacked. Okay, so the answer will be D. So see you in the next class.